What's going on people? Welcome to the game day preview show and we are here at the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium to preview the big one which is the North London Derby. I've got Nicky with me for the first time. How you doing? What's happening? I feel dirty here but yeah, <laughs> yeah we're, we're good. We're so good. I'll, I'll, I'll keep an eye out for you yeah. Make sure, <laughs> Cheers, no, yeah, yeah. Make sure they don't come for you as well. Um, we've got a whole bunch of games to get through. We've got Manchester City against Chelsea and my team against Steven Gerrard's team at Villa Park as well. Let's get into it. The biggest game of the weekend um, it isn't for us. Mm. Um, Spurs Arsenal, North London derby, man. Um, here behind us, uh, the, the teams will be taking the field. Um, Tottenham are unbeaten in their last seven home league games against Arsenal, winning five, drawing two. Their longest such run against their North London rivals since the run of nine between 1960 and 68. Mm. And following their 3 1 victory at the Emirates in September, Arsenal are looking to complete their first league double over Tottenham since the 13 14 campaign. So, they haven't they haven't beaten them in a, you know in both games for a while. Yeah. Tottenham, wow. I mean, <clears throat> not great. Obviously, at the moment, really poor. Um, Arsenal got some players missing though. No Partey, no Tommy Asu, no Smith Rowe, no Odegaard. Yeah. Son missing for Spurs. How do you see this? <sighs> tough, tough one. Tough one. This one. Um, again, like Brighton, Crystal Palace. It all form goes out the window. Yeah. Uh, you know, it, it, it comes down to who wants it more. I'm not that impressed with Spurs no. under Conte. Spurs unbeaten in the league though, under Conte, yeah. um, which is obviously good, but missing Son, no, no Partey, no um, Tommy Asu, Smith Rowe, Odegaard for Arsenal as well. So, yeah. you know, team players missing from both teams. Yeah, yeah, that's why it's an hard one to call, because Arsenal have turned into a good side, mm. you know what I mean? And uh, they've got, you know, we, we, we come up against them a few weeks ago, uh, and that was quite impressive, Arsenal. Spurs, I'm not that impressed with them. I know they're unbeaten in the league and all of that sort of thing, but scraping by, isn't yeah, it? scraping defensively, they're not very good. Um, Lacazette, if he plays, I think he could cause real problems in the defence because they're all over the shop at Spurs at times. Yeah, um, the manager turned around and said, that, you know, the level of the team ain't he, that good. He said we're mid-table, mate. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's a mid-table side. So, but again, a, a North London derby. Oh, yeah, who knows? You know what I mean? It, yeah. it's, it's a really, really difficult one. I want a draw. Yeah. I want a draw. I think it will be a draw. Yeah. I, I think I think on this one, the best the only way that Spurs win the game, for me, is if they just like you said, the they they get the play the occasion yeah, yeah. and they and they're at it and they want it more than Arsenal. And for me the only way Arsenal don't win the game is if Spurs are in that mode. Like how when, when Arsenal went to Everton when by rights they probably should have won. Yeah. yeah. Um but Everton wanted it more than them. You saw how, but then with the players missing, you saw what um, Forrest done to Arsenal. Yeah, yeah. You, you see how they can get undone. Um, and you saw, obviously, but then again, in the polar opposite, I know with, with first teamers there, more first teamers in there, against that first half against City, even though they went on to lose, there was promise there. So. And they had a first half against Malcolm here. <laughs> and, and, you know, shocking. yeah, shocking. If they, and another, if they, if they have a back three of uh, Tanganga Davis, and um, Sanchez, my God. Yeah, it, shambles as well. Yeah. Uh, you see the, the, the goal uh, against Chelsea. Chelsea, yeah, yeah when yeah. they played Chelsea, you know, the keeper was everywhere. Like the defence, <laughs> it was, uh, you know, it, it's, it's ridiculous. Yeah, they need a bit more I think Arsenal could get at them, but I'm going to plump for a draw as well. I'm yeah. going to plump for a draw. Um, that's the best result for us. Um, maybe my heart's all in my head. Um, but. Yeah, I'm going to plan for a drawing this one, Flex. Yeah. yeah, well, the last North, North London at the Emirates was obviously very one, one-sided, so Tottenham won't, wouldn't have liked that. They got absolutely played off the park in that game with ease. Saka had a field day as well. Yeah. Um, they've got to watch out for him as well. So, yeah, I'm going to go 1-1 as well. Yeah, one, I, think one. Uh, yeah I think that's the Next up, Wolves, Southampton, Saturday, 3 p.m. Um, I don't like Wolves. <laughs> no, I'm, I can imagine. I can imagine. They're, they're a bit of a bogey team for Man United. Um, obviously, played us off the park at Old Trafford mm. in their last Premier League game before the FA Cup. Deserved to win. Um, they were fantastic. Um, and now they play Southampton. Southampton 4-1 winners in their last game mm. as well. Um, Wolves have lost just one of their last 11 games against Southampton, winning six, drawing four, and have found a net in each of their last 10 against the Saints. Yeah, I, I think, you know, Wolves are going well at the moment. You know what I mean? I think they're dark horses for that sort of like top six race mm. because they're, they're, they're creeping up there without being noticed. Uh, and that's, that's dangerous for a team, you know what I mean? They're no, obviously, they beat you lot before. 
But Southampton have picked up a nice. They have, haven't well. it? And they were what they were struggling at the beginning. Of the yeah, they was really struggling. But that, that, that's Southampton for you. But uh, I think Wal Prowse is a fantastic player, and he, he's, he's sort of driving them on at the minute. They come to our place a couple of weeks ago and beat us. Mm. You know, three two. Then they went to the last game, battered them four one. You know, they, they've got a good. That, this would be a good game. This one. This would, this would be a really good game. But I'm I'm going to back Wolves. I think Wolves at home, Molyneux, loud fans. Fan, and, it's the fans. The fans, the fans honestly, fans, it is, yeah. it's, a really, it's a really tough place to go. Good atmosphere yeah. um, over at Wolves. What I will say, they just have these players. And again, I can speak because of we recently played them and I was thinking it when they was in front of me. The way they all interchange, the way they move. I look at players like Prudence. I look at players like um, Trincao. Jimenez, the way he looks after the ball is a proper number nine. Yeah. You've got two orchestrators in there, and Jan Moutinho and Neves. Their full backs, their wing backs, even are wide, really high. You've got Marcel one side, Semedo the Tomato, other. Yeah. They're just a really good outfit, and I, I, sometimes yes, they can they can sit off, and they might not be that great to watch. But other times when they kick in, they're really good to watch. Yeah, we went there. They they played us off the park. <laughs> <laughs> they were just, just a good side, yeah. you know what I mean? And their midfield is good, and we yeah. we've got a really good midfield, and they they outplayed us that day. But yeah, I fancy Wolves in this one. You got to fancy Wolves. Yeah, yeah. Um, Southampton are looking to pick up back to back Premier League away wins for the first time since June 2020, following their three two win um, at West Ham on Boxing Day. There you go. <laughs> um, good result last time out for Southampton against Brentford midweek. Um, so look, I'm gonna I'm gonna go with Wolves. I'm gonna go I'm gonna go two one. 2-1 Wolves in this one. I'm going to go 3-0. 3-0, clean yeah. sweep. Yeah, I Southampton think a little bit on the up. Rose no, are they, doing well. They, they are on the Hassan up. has got a reaction out of them. They are on the up, but I think Wolves will just have too much for them. And as you say, like I think that, that game when they when they played us last week, I think that's the f- first time since like August since they've won away. You know what I mean? <laughs> It'll be typically be yeah. against us. So I can't win. I see them winning two back-to-back away games. But they are on the up and they've been scoring some goals. But... I think Wolves would be too, too much for them. Okay. Week. Yeah. Three All nil, right. Three nil. Next game, another three three p.m. kickoff. Norwich versus Everton. Norwich lost the exact fixture one nil in their last Premier League campaign in the nineteen twenty season. Um, they've not lost a consecutive home league game against Everton since nineteen eighty eight. Um, just for the stats. I mean, look, your team played against Norwich last. We'll talk a little bit about Everton in yep. a minute. What are you saying? What did you see? Because I remember that like, before we started kind of filming, you said it was. You weren't at your best? We weren't at our best. They're just naive, Norwich. They're just naive. They haven't got a lot up front, you know what I mean? And it's, but saying that, it's like Everton. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Like, our Rafa's still got it's a that job. It's at Carrow Road as well. Yeah, it's at Carrow Road. But there was a bit of fight in Norwich last yeah. night, which I was surprised about. That's weird. I mean, even when we played them, I mean, we, we luckily scraped a 1 0 win, Ronaldo penalty. Yeah, yeah. Fight. That's exactly what under Dean Smith, there is fight. Yes, they're not getting the results, the quality, we understand that. Hopefully, it can bring some more in in January. But against an Everton side where you said where Rafa Benitez is still lucky to be in the job and they're in free fall, could you, could you see something there? Yeah. <laughs> I can. Can you see something? Yeah, I can see. I can see. Because I, 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 they haven't got a lot going forward, Norwich. Yeah. But they got a point last night where it was 1 0, and we was, they was just frustrating us. And then one of their players, I can't remember who it was, but he picked up the ball. He struck one from like 30 yards and Fabianski tipped it onto the post. And that was a that was a turning point in mm. our game because I've seen us do that lots of times. But they've it's just Everton. They're just they're just <laughs> poor. They're they're poor, poor just right a poor side. Rafa's you know, Rafa's really struggling there. I reckon it could be a, an upset here. I think Norwich and you get into this point in the season now where they, they've got to be scrapping. Yeah. Everton, I think, just see themselves above that. Yeah. But you've got a few teams now, Newcastle. Um, Norwich, Burnley, Burnley yeah. they're all going to be wanting to pick up points. Yeah. If Norwich win this one, Everton are, are back in that. And, 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 and if they lose this one, I think that's the end of the round. Gone. Yeah, I, I agree with you, mate. Um, after taking four points from the, their first two away league games of the season, Everton have picked up just two more from the subsequent seven on the road. Drawing two, losing five. The Toffees have conceded the first goal in all seven of these matches. The way I see Everton, I mean, look, they had a, a tiny bit of a bounce when they when they beat Arsenal, Arsenal yeah. which no one kind of really expected, it was from Arsenal point, it was the best time to go play them. So you're thinking, right, can they go and show something? Yeah, they didn't in the next game, I think. And then they went to uh, Chelsea and picked up a draw with the Young Bucks. Yeah, and you're yeah. thinking, I will tell you what, is there a little something? But no, there isn't. <laughs> <laughs> then, no, there is, then, then no, there isn't. Um, if Norris want any chance of staying up, they really need to. They need to win this one, don't they? Um, 
I'm, I'm, I'm with you. I, f I think there's something in this. I, I don't think there's a lot of goals in this game. Definitely not. Uh, Everton are not free flowing, and neither are Norwich. One nil Norwich. I, I'm saying one nil. One nil Norwich, isn't it? Say, and then yeah. Rafa to get sacked after the game. I'm with you. <laughs> Um, sorry, Everton Hope, fans, but it, that, uh, it just well, looks bleak. I'm, no, I'm hoping. I'm yeah. hoping so. <laughs> um, They've got all the money now. Exactly, yeah. exactly. Burnley, Leicester. Burnley just lost Chris Wood. You know their best striker um, for, for for what you would call big money for Chris Wood. You know, it was a release million. calls though, wasn't it? Release calls, but they paid it. So you know, yeah. there you go. Obviously, they're never going to want to get let him go. They're in a relegation battle. Um, Sean Dice has got the best out of him for a while as well. Um, only scored about three goals this season, but we all know how good Chris Wood can be on his days. Absolutely, it's the hold-up play. Proper, That's, yeah, focal it's, it's, point. It's a, yeah, a proper focal point. Um, yeah, yeah. Leicester, you know, Leicester midfield, James, uh, midfielder James Madison has been directly involved in seven goals in his last six Premier League appearances. So he's picked up four goals, three assists, um, more than he had in the previous 26 games in all competitions combined, which was three and three and three goals, mm. three assists. So in the last 26 games, when he was, you know, really poor, trying to, we, a lot of people were saying, "What's up with James Madison?" You know, there's been times Leicester this year, if we're talking about them, people questioning Brendan Rodgers, is he at the end of it? Yeah, yeah. Then they just turn a little corner and they start do, yeah. doing all right. And then they start, they're kind of just flatlined a little bit, Leicester. Sometimes, other, some weeks they're doing really well. Beginning of the season, they were doing really poor. Europa League they've wasn't great. though. Yeah. You know, class is permanent. You know, form is temporary. You've got a good, good midfield there in DD and you know, people like that. All of a sudden, you, and I think you'll, you'll start to see a, a pattern in this now, all the English players that are on the brink of that England squad, World Cup. They start to yeah. poke their noses all, all of a sudden, yeah, I've got to raise it this year. This is the year the World Cup's coming this year. I want to get in it. You see Bowen. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, all of a sudden, oh. he's on fire. Um, but Madison is in, is in real good form. I'd like to see him start playing for England again. You know what I mean? Because I, I think he's got a, a lot of talent. Could he move club? Maybe. It could go to a bit of a bigger club. Mm. I think it'd suit Man United, to be quite honest with you. But... You don't Madison? think that? Nah. I reckon he would, nah. you know. I wouldn't have him over Bruno. Really? Yeah, I know Bruno. I'll have to be over <laughs> Bruno in a minute. Don't get me wrong. <laughs> this, this version of Bruno, but then we could talk. We'll get to Man United in a bit. Yeah, OK. Um, but Madison, Madison's got back to talent. I do agree with that. And, he's, and he did lose himself. He did lose himself where I think he's, he's, he needed that run of form. Because people started to question, hmm, was it just a one and a half season yeah. wonder sort of thing? But like it was Deli Alli situation. Deli yeah. Alli, he was tipped to go to Arsenal a little bit yeah. um, at one stage, you know, for big money. And that didn't happen. So, you know, it's good to see him. But Burnley, though, are one of just three sides yet to have a player under the age of 24 score for them in the Premier League this season. <laughs> along with That's Tottenham and Wolves. Yeah, they've got a lot of older players. Um, but only though, how do you see this? Without Chris Wood, Leicester coming to town to turf more? No. No? No. Comfortable They're for Leicester? Down this They're going to go down. Burnley, yeah. Is this it, finally? Because Sean yeah. Dyche has a... W this is why he's really good. Operates off a shoestring budget. The types of players he's, he attracts. You know, I know Cornet's doing really well. Yeah. Um, but by and large, the squad he builds is workmanlike, 4-4-2, proper, aggressive football, old school. And he always survives the drop when it, you know, I remember last season they were on their asses again, but he goes on a run and, but you feel this time will be it? I think, you know what's going to, what's going to do him this year? Is the fact that Newcastle are in it, but now they can go and buy whoever they want. Can because there's that January. four, isn't it? There's Norwich, Burnley, uh, Watford, Watford uh, and, and them, and, them, and yeah. Newcastle. And I think they can buy their way out of it now, Newcastle. Mm. And that, I think that's the problem. I just think they're going to run out. Of, you know, the other teams are starting to, you know, to crawl away a little bit. Although Everton could get dragged back in. Everton could. Yeah. I think. Yeah. I, I, I don't think there is. I, I. You know, they're a very poor team, Burnley, this year. Um, they don't score a lot of goals. So I you think, think they're done? Yeah. Yeah. You and think I think Leicester have beaten quite comfortably this week. Okay. Yeah. Um, I think Leicester will get it done as well. I'm going to say two 0 Leicester. I think the with? best Burnley can hope for is a draw. Draw. Yeah. yeah. Which actually wouldn't be a bad result for them. Right, West Ham Leeds, your team. Yeah. West Ham Leeds. Um, I saw the way you dealt with Leeds in uh, the FA Cup, mm. um, and you dealt with them <laughs> pretty much. Yeah, they were uh, poor that day. Yeah, honest, they were yeah. poor. Um, they play in a way that is it's one dimensional. If it works, you're under serious pressure. Yeah. If it doesn't, which for the majority of this season it hasn't against a lot of teams, yeah. you can open them up at will. Um, your team, though, um, doing well ish. Would you say? No, we're doing really well. <laughs> for, I mean, Tried to play it down. Better than yeah. a relegation battle. Yeah, exactly. We win that game on Sunday, we're safe. So, you know, that's, that's <laughs> our levels of expectation. So, yeah, they're doing really well at the minute. I can't complain. It's, uh, 
it's a wonderful time to be a West Ham fan, to be mm. quite honest with you. But, uh, uh, you know, we're getting to the point now where we're starting to become expectant of these results, you know. But that's and good, though. Yeah, it is or good. Or does that scare you? It scares me a little bit, <laughs> you know what I mean? But, um, as you say, I think Leeds have been worked out. Bielsa, I'm, I'm not having Bielsa as a, uh, as a player. Uh, sorry, a manager. Yeah, I'm not having uh, Bielsa as a manager. Um, he's too one-dimensional for me. Uh, I think he gets way too much praise for what, um, for what he does. Because they come at you at 100 miles an hour. Uh, and and that's, it surprised a lot of teams last year. Mm. I think we've worked them out now. Well, we've worked them out yeah. the last couple of times as well. Um, even if they take the lead, they just run out of steam. Yeah, all the time. And when I was saying it last, last year, and even at the beginning of this year, it was, oh, Flex, because you hate Leeds, you're a Man United fan, you're just saying it. Look what he's done with, with championship players and yeah. this, that and the other. Yeah, well, if you think they're championship players, mate, play in a way that, that helps them. Yeah, you know what I mean? exactly. Stop, stop yeah. playing open. There's a few yeah. stats here. Leeds have conceded 10 goals. There you go. They've conceded 10 goals in their last two away league games <laughs> in a 3-2 uh, uh, versus Chelsea. Uh, seven versus um, Man City, just one fewer than they had in their first seven on the road this term. West Ham have won just five of their 23 Premier League games against Leeds, drawing four, losing 14. But that's like the old Leeds. Old Leeds, when Leeds, yeah, were, Leeds were decent. You know, under O'Leary, um, yeah. O'Neill, you know what I mean? So, um, West Ham have won just, yeah, just 23 uh, of their last Premier League games against them, drawing four and losing 14, with three of these coming in their last three meetings um, in the competition. Mm. So of recent times, yeah, there you go. Yeah, yeah. We've, I think we've beaten them every time. Exactly. Um, fully expecting to get a result this week. Uh, without Phillips as well, you know, he's their engine. Yep. And, you know, you ain't got an engine, you can't move. So. Exactly. Yeah, I'm, I'm expecting to get a result and this week. And it's at your ground as well. Yeah, 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 we're at home. Give me a score prediction. 3-1. Yeah, yeah I, 3 you, one. you score three against them. I'm, I'm going to go 3-0. 3-0? I'm going to go 3-0. Yeah. yeah, Leeds. Sorry, Leeds fans, mate. But it's Rafinha, though. You got to, is he even back? Is he back? Yeah, he's back. Yeah. Oh, he's back. Yeah. Okay, so little, maybe they might score one then. Yeah, yeah. I see yeah. why you got them to 3-1. Three three one. One, yeah. three one at best. I just think the way they play is too expansive. It's too open. And they've been sussed. 3-1. It, it gives us a good position to go into as well with like fourth place. And yeah. That, yeah. Actually, do you know what? Yeah, I, I, I keep forgetting about this. And this is no disrespect. Because... You said you thought you'd fall off and tail away. You haven't. No. You're still in it. there. My team's fighting for it. I actually do need a Leeds win here. It ain't going to happen, but... <laughs> I'd, <laughs> Listen, when, you, can you, you let me know, know. When, you're gonna, when do you think you can start dropping off? Because you said you told me you'd drop off. There's we'll no drop off. drop off. We'll drop off at some point. It depends on the signings, <laughs> isn't it? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Probably, and you ain't getting Lingard. Big no, we ain't going to give you Big game next week with Man United. So, oh, my God. Yeah. <sighs> this is going to get painful. 3-1. Right, we're at the Tottenham Hotspots Caf. Yeah, it's around the corner from the old space. Yeah, yeah, cup of tea, it's nice. I'm going to go through the next batch of games, all right? Mm. Liverpool Brentford, Sunday. Um, Liverpool in the Prem, they're, they're, not, they're not the usual selves. They're not the usual selves. Couple of bad results, which is ultimately, if you ask a lot of Liverpool fans, they're saying put them out of the title race. Yeah, you know, yeah. it's, 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 it's cities now. Um, this is the first time Liverpool are hosting Brentford, though, in any competition since March 1989. A 4-0 win in the FA Cup quarter-final tie. They last hosted the Bees in the league in the league match back in October 1946. Really? You, you witnessed that one? Oh, yeah, I was there, yeah. <laughs> what are you saying? Winning 1-0. And Liverpool's Diogo Jota has scored four goals in his last four Premier League home games, having netted just once in his previous 12 mm. at Anfield. Um, Brentford, obviously, poor last time out against Southampton on the back end of a hiding. But one thing about Brentford, though, you know, when they've played some of the big boys this season, look at the last game against against Liverpool at their place, three three. Yeah, they, they can turn up. They was in different form then. Yeah. I think they've just, I don't know, I think they've run out. Yeah, I think they've run out of steam, Brentford, and I think they're they're going to start struggling now. They might, you might see them sliding towards the bottom. Mm. Liverpool, them them last three results, I'm very surprised. Yeah. And the good thing for Brentford is they've just lost Salah and Mane. Yeah. Uh, and a defender, I think a couple of defenders maybe. It could be. No, no, they, they, they can't be. <laughs> they if can't you think, be. If you no, think, no, they, they, say what you feel. It's, it's just, just. I think they'll still be too strong. Yeah. But I think they give them a game though. I think they're going to give them a game. Yeah. Yeah. I think this could be another. I think it could be a high-scoring game as well. Brentford are good. 
Can it be an upset? You think for, Brentford going down? Can it be score? an upset? I think nah, they ain't. They ain't. Nah, nah I not don't for me. So. No, no disrespect to Brentford. Listen, we got to go there on. Um, <laughs> they got to play us after that. Yeah. In midweek, and again, I'm dreading that. Um, but away from home against one of the big boys, they can, like you said, they can cause problems. I think they'll give Liverpool a game, but they'll lose two 0 If you get what I mean. Yeah. But, they, but yeah. they, they would have been. They'll in be the scares game. and things like that. Yeah. But yeah. The three three was was mad. Insane. They, yeah. they, and that's what I mean. That's they proved they can go after. And I think maybe the, the only thing it's not at the Brentford Community Stadium. That yeah. is the that is the biggest thing. Yeah, at, yeah. It's at Anfield. I think they work hard. You know, they're not afraid of people. That's no. one thing. But sometimes they can open up a little bit. Yeah. Like you saw against West uh, against. Um, I think South that, that can, I mean, without Salah and Mane though, that could that could be Liverpool's downfall. True. And this is their, because yeah, yeah. They, you know they break really quick with them too. Yeah. Um, I don't know who they're playing there at the moment, but mm. Minamino, I would imagine. Yeah, Rigi probably Rigi start, maybe. maybe starting, but. You know, if Brentford go at them, they might not have the pace and the power to, to, to sort of counter. Sure, like I did the way forget they about that actually. Yeah. Forgot those two aren't there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I don't know. I don't think so. I've, I'm going to stick with. Do you think Brentford will score? Oh, two nil. You're saying two nil. Yeah, two nil. Okay. I think they could they could run them a bit tight. It's going to be tight. Yeah, it's I think I think Liverpool. Look, after after not winning in the last what three Premier League games, that was it? Yeah, the draw against Chelsea. Draw. Yeah. You know, it wasn't good. Leicester lost um, one nil against them. Um, we beat them recently as well. You I mean, beat them, yeah, at yeah, your place, yeah. Ago, that's yeah. it. I mean, that was a proper solid, you know. Yeah, proper, it was a good game that one. Yeah, yeah a proper yeah. good game that was. Um, I feel like they need they need to get back to winning ways in the prem. You know, I, I know they're a little bit off it, but they don't want to get dragged into you know third, fourth, and really scrapping. It could I, be though. Yeah, if they, if they don't start winning soon, you never know. And no, yeah. mo- no salary and minus. So they want to just keep their their tails clear of that. So I think they they get a reaction because of that. Yeah, I think they they scrap the result and they want to get them. Be- until them two come back because yeah. obviously they're their talisman so 2-0 yeah I think 2-0 2-0 I'm going to go 2-0 next one this one here now Newcastle Watford you talk about the games at the bottom of the table where these teams are starting to scrap um, Newcastle brought in two already Chris Wood and Kieran Trippier um, they got trips in first game against Cambridge United um, and they lost mm. um, and that was a pretty strong team so obviously it just shows you New, new sign-in bounces and all that, but um, Watford badly need it as well. They badly need this going to Newcastle. A few stats here. Watford are without a clean sheet in any of their last 28 Premier League games since beating Liverpool 3-0 in February 2020. Mm. Um, Newcastle have won just one of their last, uh, one of their 19 Premier League games so far this season. I think that was against Burnley, I want to say. Um, drawing eight and losing 10, just one of their last 13 games to have won uh, to have to have one win or fewer at the halfway stage of an English top flight side campaign have survived relegation just one. So the st- the, the, <laughs> that does not um, go well with them with West Brom doing um, so in 2004 yeah. five. So it was yeah, them yeah. who done it. I mean, both in desperate need. What are you saying? Draw? <laughs> no. Uh, do you know what? I think Newcastle will get it done. I think Watford could upset. I think Watford. I think Watford could do it. They've got, they've got a couple of handy players, yeah. Watford. Um, I'm worried for Newcastle. I'm worried for them, not long term, obviously they'll be okay long term, but this season it's just, they're really poor, they're mm. really bad. And Chris Wood coming in, he's a good player, Chris Wood. But three goals in the last, mm. in, in, in the whole of this season. It's, I, I know he holds up the ball, but who's he holding up the ball for? Because Wilson's out now till March, you know? It, and they could look. Ultimately, they could go and sign anybody. Yeah. Like the money, money-wise, you know, yeah. they, it, it, it's there. You know, they could go out and get. But for this one, this is a really important game for them. Really yeah. important game. And it's not so much. I know Trip has come in, but they've poor defensively. Yeah. And yeah. Watford have got a few players. I don't know what the injuries are. I haven't checked anything like that. But but yeah. players like Saar, they can really cause him damage. Proper. Really cause him damage. But saying that. Watford can be poor it's just, at the back. It's going to be one of them games. Exactly. I definitely, I 100% wouldn't write Watford off. I think this is going to be a really good game. Going forward, Watford can cause you problems. <laughs> My team got battered four-one by Watford yeah, when yeah. they were on it. You know, when when Watford can apply themselves, they can they can show they something. Can, it's just something. defensively. You know, they've they've got some new signings. You know, I think this one can come down to nerve. First. Yeah, exactly. It's just who What's can the mentality hold like nerve, on the yeah. night? Yeah, and losing to Cambridge and yeah. being in four. Watford score first. If Watford Conference score first, first, it could it could turn fifty thousand Geordies on your back, mate. Yeah. It's, it's not easy. Yeah, and I worry about the mentality of a few of their players as well. 
there are players in that team now that are playing there. Yeah, they've got Trippier in, and yeah, they've got Wood in, and you expect them to, to feature this weekend. But there's players that are going to. I'm redundant here. Yeah, I'm done. Yeah. You know, what am I fighting for? I'm not going to be playing next next year, uh, or, or, or you know, in two seasons' time. Mm. They're going to have an overhaul of that whole squad. The whole squad's going to go. It's not good enough, mm. and that's that's the facts. So I worry about the mentality of the players that they've already got. Do they want to fight? No. And, and I said this about the manager, like when they got rid of Bruce. You know, Bruce, they weren't doing great, but Bruce can only do with. I think he's done all right. I think Considering his, his, what he had, yeah. his record was as good as Benitez's. <laughs> you know what I mean there, and. Once you get to that position where you've got an owner come in and they sack the manager within a week, you know what I mean? Like as soon as they come in, they want rid of him. And you start to get that mentality, and I think this is what you've got with them a mentality in them players that think, well, what, what, what am I yeah. fighting for? I'm, I'm, I ain't got a future here anymore. And that's dangerous. And that's it's dangerous really because dangerous. They, they've got to stay in this league. That's why I said they yeah. should have stuck with Bruce and said, get us out of the trouble mm. and we'll see what happens afterwards. But it, as soon as they come in, and I think they're doing it the wrong way. It's £160,000 a week for Trippier, I think they're paying. Yeah. It's ridiculous. Ridiculous money. They go down. I know they've got it, yeah, but yeah. with the financial fair plays and all that sort of stuff, it's a dangerous game to play. And you see the same game being played by QPR a few weeks uh, Yeah, few I remember when they got the, the when they started, in, yeah. yeah, they yeah. started getting the right Phillipses in and the yeah. Bobby Zamoras and all that. Rio Ferdinands. Rio <laughs> Ferdinands, yeah. Big players on yeah. big money. It's just what them players are there for. Is Trippier there? Trippier's just come from a club that won the, you know, proper Champions yeah, League contenders yeah. and just won the league in Spain. I still think he's a brilliant signing for them. He's though. a good signing. I think I think it's actually a sensible signing but for them. What's his mentality? What's he there for? Yeah. Because he knows if if, if they get relegated, he can walk out the door again mm. in, in, in the summer. Mm. I mean, yeah, obviously he said in his interview that he's here to obviously to, for the fight. He uh, obviously wants to come back to England as well, which probably helped achieved what he wanted to achieve in, in, in Spain. So it was probably a, a good time for him. Like you said, it's a big contract, whatever security is there. Um, but like you said, if they go down, then it, then it could, look, it could, it could yeah. look different. Exactly. Um, what I would say, though, it's in Newcastle's favour, though, before we kind of finish off on this one, mm. is actually if they play how they played against Man United, <laughs> yeah, they, I was there, Nick. Trust yeah. me. They were on it. Yeah. Joe Linton was a man possessed. Sent Maximum, yes. You never know what you're going to get. But when he's on it, he's, he's on, on it. it. He's yeah. unplayable. Yeah. Um, and just the energy they had and the application they had, if they can replicate that in there, you know what it's like at St James's Park. It yeah. can be a cauldron. So this could be a turning point for either of those teams. I think Watford will go there slightly more relaxed because obviously they're ahead of them. If Watford can go and get a draw, they might think, fine. But don't write Watford off. You know, Dennis hasn't gone to the African Cup of Nations. He's there. Yeah. Um, Josh King can always cause you problems. Um, so look, I, I think Watford, yeah, I see, I see what you mean. It's nerve. Who is going to nerve? Yeah, I'm going to go for I'm going to go for a one-one. I'm going to go for a two-one Watford. Two-one Watford. Yeah, I do like that. I mm. do like that. I do like that. Um, Brighton Palace. Two exciting teams, man. Two Derby. exciting teams. Derby. Derby yeah. They hate each other. Hate each other. Um, proper. Um, let's go through some of the stats. Um, each of the last each of the last three Premier League meetings between Brighton and Palace has seen a result altering um, goal scored in the 90th minute. Yeah, so tough, tough ones. I remember earlier in the season, Neil Mope scored right yeah, there when, yeah. when Palace should have seen it out. Um, with the Seagulls earning two draws and the Eagles one win thanks, uh, thanks to those strikes. After an 11-game winless run in the Premier League, Brighton have now won two of their last three in the competitions, drawing one. The Seagulls have scored um, as many goals in their last three league games as they had in their previous ten combined with six. Yeah. Let's start with Brighton before we get on to Palace. You know, in, we talk about um, them drawing all 11 game winless runs during the season. Remember, yeah. they started off, they were in the top four places. Yeah, yeah. Then they just couldn't win, but they weren't losing. And that's why they've it's got the basis. And for some of the, some of the fans at one point, I think Graham Potter at home, was it against Leeds or someone, they were turning on him a bit, a few boos, and he was looking around saying, guys, <laughs> I'm getting blood out of a stone here. Yeah. Like, do you yeah, know what I mean? And he's mental. done such a good job. They're a very good team, Brighton. They come to to the London Stadium earlier on in the season, and um, the, the the brand of football he's got playing is impressive. Yeah. And, and Graham Potter, and this is all due respect to Brighton, he's destined for better better than Brighton. Yeah. But he's got that Brighton team playing really well at the minute. But Vieira at Palace, you don't you never know what you're going to get. Yeah. You can get well beat as one yeah. week, and then the next week they look awful. Um, but all of that goes out the window. It doesn't matter because when you get to a derby game where they, you know, the fan rivalry, 
the player rivalry when they hate each other so much because this is a big one in terms of hate. They, mm. uh, for some, I don't know why. It's ferocious. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's ferocious. It's a ferocious yeah. derby. This goes out the window. This is anybody's game. Yeah. Um, but Brighton, I, I would edge with Brighton just because they, they, I think they play a better brand of football than Palace. Mm. I, I really do. I mean, on Palace, they just got such an exciting squad. I think, I think Vieira has gone there at exactly the right time when they're in transition. Yeah. He kind of got given a slate to say it's been wiped clear. Yeah, yeah. Let's, let's put a new brand of football in. We've got young players here um, and they brought in a couple too. Olise looks really good. He looks fantastic. You look at Gall Gallagher's season. Gallagher is fantastic. He looks, looks yeah. really good. Um, and I think he gives, I think they give Brighton a really good game. I like this game. I, when is it? Friday, 8 p.m. I'll be watching that. Yeah, so would I. I, I, like, I like this game. Um, I'm going to say draw. Oh yeah, yeah. Okay. I'm gonna say draw. I think Palace will, will give as good as they get. Okay, Zaha's gone African Cup of Nations actually. The thing the, um, these, these games are so hard to because yeah. anything can happen. Anything you know can I mean? happen. Like, yeah. Bright, you'd say, oh yeah, Brighton are in better form and all, and you and you play these games on paper. But when you get to a ferocious start, takes one studs up challenge. Yeah. Someone to elbow someone. Gets the someone, crowd turning. Yeah, yeah. The, the, yeah. the crowd geeing up the players and someone going in recklessly. There's a red card. The whole thing. I'm going to stick with you. I'm going to go with a draw. Yeah, well. two two though. Draw. I'm going two, to go yeah. for a big high scoring, one, yeah. high energy. I think it'd be a great derby. Two two. Right, Steven Gerrard takes on Manchester United again, um, twice in a week. Dumped out the FA Cup by us with a fantastic performance by Man United. We showed, we showed Gerrard who's boss. <laughs> we showed Gerrard who's boss. Yeah. Um, it's back at Villa Park. Um, Aston Villa are winless though in their last 22 home league games against Man United. Yeah. Um, drawing seven and losing 15 since a 3-1 victory in August 95. It's the longest winless home uh, home run side um, has had against another English football league. Is it really? Side. Yeah, in history. Really? That's the longest winless run someone's had. What is it, 30? <laughs> what? Have so, 22 games. 22 games? 22 games. games without beating someone at home. Jesus. Yeah, longest in Football League history. So, the income, in, in steps Gerrard. Bit, Villa, Villa win. <laughs> <laughs> in steps Gerrard, mate. Um, Man United stat though, Man United have scored the opening goal in, in 33 Premier League games against Villa, winning 32 and drawing one of those matches. Um, you saw highlights of the game or, or whatever yeah, yeah. happened against um, us, against them in, in the FA Cup. How do you see this one now? We've got them back in the league. Coutinho, new player. Lucas Digne, new player. Yeah. As well. Yeah. It depends on Coutinho because he's a big player. Big player. He's a big name, but you know, you, you look at what, what happened to Hammers at, yeah. at, at Everton. Didn't quite work out. Started off there. right Started though, off really yeah. well, yeah. So it depends what Coutinho turns up. Is, is he is he done? I, I think he's done. Do you? Yeah, I do think he's done. Finished. Yeah. I think he's finished. Finito, done. Nothing yeah. left in there. No, that. I don't think so. Not in really? the Premier League. Yeah, yeah. I, I honestly do. He was a, a really good player, but I just think he's going to come over here and flop. Do you? I really <laughs> do. Yeah, I do. I love to say that with the, with the chest, like yeah. Yeah, yeah. I, I do. You know, what okay. I mean, I, I could be proven wrong. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I don't that's mind being proven wrong, but that's my gut now. feeling. Yeah, he's, he, like Barcelona didn't want him. They sent him off to to Bayern. Bayern they didn't yeah. want him. They sent him back to Barca. One of them players now is. He's won titles there, man. He's won he's big won, things. Yeah, yeah, he's won big things, but it's just Pop not the player he well. was. He's just not the player he was. Uh, it, that's my opinion. Yeah, I could yeah. be totally yeah, wrong. I could yeah. be, no, I think that's a fair assumption to say he's not, he's not the Liverpool Coutinho, is he? Definitely yeah, is. He's gone to Aston yeah. Villa a couple of years ago. He's a £110 million pound player. Mm. He's, he's definitely not the player he was. Yeah. Has he got enough left in him as a Premier League? With Villa, you know, towards Gerard, the Gerard arm round him, yeah. playing with him. No, I understand. I do, I do understand that. Man I do United's understand that. first home game. Yeah, I do understand that. He could come. I'm good. speaking from the fear already <laughs> of I don't want to go there, but yours. He could you're come. Seeing it from outside he could come good in one game, one or two games. <laughs> yeah. But I think he ultimately he'll drop off. I just, I just don't see him. Like, has he got the motivation? Yeah. You know, Liverpool. He's he's a top player at a top club. Mm. Goes to Barca. You know, 110 million pound. Top player, top club. Mm. Bayern, top player, top club. Goes back to Barca. Now he's at Villa. It's how them players react to being at, towards the bottom end and the wrong, on the wrong end of the results. Mm. And some players, like you see, James Rodriguez just didn't yeah, fancy it. Just in the didn't end. fancy it. You yeah. know what I mean? Like, and, and he's just like, yeah, I'm, I'm off. You know, I'm, I'm done. It's sort of like a, a last hurrah for, for Hammers. You know, yeah. I, I can see the similar thing happen to um, to Hammers. And Digne can't defend. He's a really good You're player. Not he can't defend. You watch him. He just what, cannot you think defend. You think they're better off without target? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, yeah, yeah I do. Okay. Yeah, Dini is a good player, yeah. but he can't defend for Toffee, mm. and that's where they struggle at times at, at, at Villa. For toffee, I yeah, yeah, <laughs> I suppose. Yeah, but he, yeah, he can't defend for Toffee. Yeah. He's really good going forward, but he can't defend. 
and they've struggled defensively. We, yeah. I think we banged four against them at their place, you know? Yeah. And I, I reckon this is a Man United win. Flipping. Yeah, yeah I, this is a Man United win. I need some of you in, mate, because I am... I don't normally swear on it. I'm shitting it, though. <laughs> I am shitting it because the way that we're playing, the way I just saw Villa play against us on our own turf, um, look, of course, my team is capable of turning up on the day with the players we've got and beating anyone, you know, if, if it clicks into gear. Yeah. Um, and, you know, Villa aren't <laughs> the best thing since last no. spreads. You know, they do have mistakes in them. You know, Mings is, is capable of mistakes. You look at, like, say, the fullbacks in cash and target, mistakes. Um, but on their day, they, they, it's, a, it can, it's always a really they, tough they, game. Yeah. Their, their, their midfield wiped our midfield. Yeah. You know, you look at John McGinn, you look at Jacob Murphy, he's doing really, really well. Yeah. Ramsey, sorry, he's doing really, really well. Um, and Douglas Ruiz. So they're a very workmanlike team, and I just think Coutinho could give them that lift under the lights, 5.30 Villa Park. Maybe I'm getting overall by the occasion because of my team's in a bit of a rut performance-wise. Yeah. Um, but we're capable of winning. I just, I just really worry for us because the atmosphere, if we don't settle it down. It's going to be buzzing. Because our mentality has been shocking yeah. and our application has been shocking. It's going to be buzzing there at yeah. Villa Park because of the new sign-ins and yeah. the big names and, and all this sort of thing. And Man yeah. United is always a big occasion for all, all Premier League sides. Yeah. What are you going with? You score early. Yeah, true. Shut up. They don't know, you know, they don't know where to go. I'm going with a 3-1 three, one to three, Man United. One. Yeah. Wow. I'm actually going to go draw. <laughs> really? Yeah, at best, mate. I am. I, 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 I hope, I, honestly, it's that, it's that <laughs> bad. I am, I am so worried. So I've gone with a draw. Maybe because I'm emotionally invested in it, though. Do you know what I mean? And yeah. I'm going to be there in the cold. Yeah, you're just, you're just trying scared. to protect yourself. I understand. I I'm going to say 3-1 Man United. I hope you're right. And I think because of Ronaldo's comments this week, yeah. I bet there's a bit of a spark. There, there. better be. There <laughs> better be. Last game. Last game. Man City, Chelsea. Um, Saturday, 12.30 p.m. kickoff. Chelsea won this exact fixture 2 1 last season. Last winning consecutive away league games against Manchester City during a run of four between 2005 and 2008. Uh, Man City have won their last 11 Premier League games. Their fifth such run of 11 consecutive victories in the competition. Um, is it too early to call this one a title decider or is it too late to call it a title decider because people have already kind of said it's City's? I think if there's any hope, this is the game. Yeah. I mean, they've got to lose this game to give anyone any hope. If they win this game, <laughs> I think it's done. I, I think it's done anyway yeah. because I just can't see them losing that amount of game City. You know, it, it, it's a, it, you know, it, like you've got all of these things going around and pl people are missing players with COVID and, and all that. They get COVID, they've got someone just as good to come in and replace them, you know what I mean? Shocking, so, it? yeah, it is, it, it, I think it's boring. Yeah. I find it boring to, to be saying, like, it's, it's wrapped up by January. But you can't blame them. No. They're, they're doing what they have to do, you know yeah. what I mean? And, and they've got the funds, they've got the facilities and all that. Um, these games, though, City can slip up. I've seen it happen before. I've seen them lose Liverpool games, Chelsea games and all that sort of thing. As you said, they got beat last year by... Mm. I can't see them losing this one. I just can't see them losing it. And, and I think if this fixture goes that way, that's it. Title yeah. done, yeah. dusted. Over. You know, especially, you know, what's happening with if Arsenal and, 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 and you know, Man United and people like that draw, oh, we're too far away anyway. Yeah, but, miles but that's it. It's done. It's done yeah. and dusted. Well, it's, Liverpool is the one. Liverpool right? is yeah. the only one. Yeah. It's the only one. And they've obviously got Brentford at the same time um, in, their, in their game. Um, I, honestly, I'm, I'm fed up with talking about City. I hate it. I hate how good they are. Um, but at the same time, when I take that emotion out of it because I'm a United fan, you got to respect what can you it. say exactly they, 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 you and know they, they, they play fantastic football they've yeah. got a, a strong squad that's deep they play the, they play in the right way with a top manager and it, it pains me to say it and uh, but but Chelsea though couldn't frustrate Chelsea uh, can be difficult they to can break be down, difficult to beat yeah. you know so they you know they and they can spring on teams when they when they want yeah, to I don't yeah. think they'll dominate for large parts like no. they do in, in a lot of games they play in um, that'll probably be City doing that, but um, they, you know they can, like I said, they can make it a difficult evening. They can make it difficult afternoon. Sorry, they, 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 they can make it difficult for for City, but I, I just can't see anyone else but Man City. Mm. And Chelsea haven't been in great form themselves. No, they haven't. You know, no, no they, their they, form they, at the Bridge has been. They've been up and they're, down. they're not scoring. They're not free throwing scoring yeah, against they, Tottenham in the first round. Of the, they've the, had their problems yeah. now with Lukaku and exactly. You know he hasn't I mean? scored. Like, he's he not hasn't, been scoring. No, he's, I think he scored in the FA Cup the other day. But yeah. I think you'd have got one if you'd have been playing. You know what exactly. I mean? So, but that's that's what I'm saying. It's, it's you know it's not free flowing at Chelsea at the minute. It's not. It's you know they they ain't going into this in, in fantastic form. Yeah. And what's most impressive about Man City this season? They've done all this without a striker. Yeah. They've, done, they've got no striker yeah. and they don't need it. No, yeah. and that's that's scary because if now 
you know, I'm, I'm, I don't know about Harry Kane. Mm. Uh, I think that that, that, that ship may have yeah, sailed, I don't but think they, go back they could go back and get a, a Harland or something like that, and, and next year they'll be even stronger. And yeah. it, it's boring me, Flex. It's boring me. No, Give someone we else need a Pep, chance. We need Pep yeah, to just go clear away, off. Pep. Yeah, Once he, go yeah, away. Yeah, I don't want him to get a Champions League because I feel that will be that will complete them. But that will probably be what it takes for him to go. To go, yeah, I'm done. Because that's done the only thing. Yeah, 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 done yeah. Do you know what I mean? So, um, score prediction. I'm going to go two. I'm going to go two one. City. I'm going to go 2-0. 2-0? 2-0 City, yeah. Easy. Clean yeah, sweep. Yeah, clean yep. sweep. Done. There you go. Title decided and everyone else is scrambling underneath them. <laughs> That's it. So there you have it. Preview is done. Nicky, enjoy it? I did enjoy it, mate, very much. So. Coming back? I will if they have me. Um, but if they don't have me, I'll just burst my way in anywhere. <laughs> it is a big if. Yeah, it, is a make big it is a big gift. Yeah, we'll see. <laughs> make sure you guys tune in to Game Day Live for Manchester City versus Chelsea also. And uh, don't forget they're going to be covering all the top AFCON games. So, yeah, tune in for that as well. 100%. And tune in for Nicky's channel as well. Make sure you subscribe to West Ham Fan TV if you want to see how, how those guys are getting on. Yeah. They're going to you know, win Europa League, whatnot, you know? I hope so. <laughs> see Nicky go, yeah. Great. Where is it? Let's find out too quickly. Seville. He's worked it out already. You're supposed Seville. to say, I'm not, I didn't plan on getting that far. I don't know. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> See what I mean? This is what I mean. Make sure you guys smash a like on the video and subscribe if you're new to the channel also. And leave your comments and your predictions in the boxes below. Peace.